So we've got plants and dishes and bunny planter and cups and skateboard as shelf. We've got Devil Girl hot kisses and spices and so many other things on all of these photographs of shelves. Apropos, because it's in an exhibition called Shelfie. They're on view at Portrait Society Gallery and have been submitted by all sorts of people, by artists, by art collectors, people who have nothing to do with art. But it's a little bit about how the things that we surround ourselves with every day can be sort of excerpted and used as a way of showing something about our lives, our interests, and us, ourselves as individuals. Hi, I'm Kat Morell, and we're going to go look at this at Portrait Society Gallery. <laughs> at Portrait Society Gallery and we're in his exhibition called Arrangements. We're looking at, I guess, some fairly recent work, right? I've been doing this work for about six years now. I worked and as a preparator at the Art Museum for 10 years and now I am managing uh, artist studios as a living. For anyone who doesn't know, what does a preparator do? Because it's not something you hear about a whole lot. Uh, we do all the art handling and creating for shipping and storage and setting up the shows. That also have influence on these types of pieces, right? The way that they're displayed on these, on these shelves is sort of uh, influenced by the sort of props I was making at the museum. But also the material that's used was uh, reclaimed waste from, from that job, but also from my daily routine. What are some of the origins or some of the different materials? Scraps of metal, um, pieces of, of shelving, um, scraps of Formica. I think of each unit as a mark, as a mark on a canvas. What is the, the sort of decision process like and, and how do you know when you're finished? Um, I usually start with a few or bigger elements, arrange and rearrange until I feel like I have a, a balanced and cohesive composition. Very much like composing a painting. So if someone came in and moved a piece, would you know it? Or would, that, would did it kind of drive you nuts? Uh, or? Yeah, I, would, I would know it. The yeah. arrangements are very specific. <laughs> um, There are a couple of other shows going on, including one called Guest Composers. So your work as a studio manager, how it sort of correlates with that, right? Right. Me and Deb, um, we came up with this idea to include some other uh, artist friends and acquaintances. They're like tiny mini exhibitions, you know, their dimensions can be measured in square inches essentially. How did artists approach that? Yeah, I think we, we left it pretty open-ended and allowed each artist to do what it is they do. For example, Peter Berrigman, um, Included uh, uh, the sculptures he made with a painting he has done that they are related pieces yeah. and it worked perfectly to, to show them on the shelf. I guess it has something it alludes to imprisonment, is that? Oh, so you know a little bit about oh, it. Yeah. That's why I'm asking you because yeah. I only know well, a little bit about uh, it. Um, uh, he, I guess, yeah, this is a painting loosely based on, on a French prison, I believe. In the process of, of thinking about prisons, Peter started thinking about how prisoners might use material that's available to them. How would you make slippers if you didn't have anything? And what is available to a prisoner to make a pair of slippers? Mm -hmm. Well, some bread rolls, maybe. All right, well, Keith, thanks again for telling us about the show. You're welcome. The Portrait Society has a lot going on, and one of the other things going on is the selection of pictures from the Blotchy Blob blog. Blotchy Blob blog by Johnny Shimon and it's the, from his Rural Utopia series. So how did you start working with Johnny to, to show these? I've been working with Julie Lindemann and Johnny for a few years now. I first saw these posted on Facebook and other places and Instagram and they're so charming and I just love that these were coming right out of the sketchbook. This is just a recent return to making paintings again and they're just like these sweet little kind of bits of scenes from their farm life I love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So here at Portrait Society Gallery, we've seen a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff on shelves, on walls, all around the gallery. And it's a nice meditation on things around us in everyday life. And we look at them differently by looking at them as art. So thanks again for hanging out here. And we'll see you again next week when we look at something else. <laughs>